Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2560 that says house robber 4. So here we are given some houses in this nums array where each nums of i represent the amount or the total money that is stored in that house. Okay. So yeah and, and we are having one robber who need to steal money from these houses right and the condition is that robber can steal only from adjacent homes right he can uh, means he refuses to steal from adjacent homes so let's say if he steal from uh, house 2 then he can't steal from house 3 he will, he can steal from house 5 and 9 after 2 so this way this is so this is one condition that he he refused to steal from adjacent homes right now further what we need to do is here we need to find the capability of a robber that is the capability represent the maximum amount he can steal from one of the houses of all the houses he has robbed means this the capability is uh, the value that is the maximum amount he has stolen from all the n number of houses he stole or he robbed right further we are given one integer gate that represent the minimum number of houses robert can steal from okay means uh, he, here we, uh, robert will always means robert has to steal at least k possible houses right and further we need to find the minimum capability uh, from all the capabilities from all the ways so let us take this example uh, look at this example for better understanding so yeah uh, here we have one robber uh, here these are the four houses and k is two that means uh, he must steal from at least two houses right and it is only possible to steal from two houses right here so one possibility way is robert will rob this house at index zero and then house at index two right so this is norms of 0, norms of 2 and maximum of both of them is 5, right? Now he can steal from this house and index 0 and house and index 3. This is index 0 and index 3 uh, and the capability of this way is 9 and he can steal this 3 and this 9. So in that case, the capability would be 9. So now the minimum of all these three capabilities, 5, 9 and 9, the 5 is the minimum, right? So this is how we have written the minimum capability, okay? Uh, so yeah, that's uh, how this equation is uh, going. Now let's take a look at this example. So here k is 2. So uh, so there are multiple ways if a robber will rob this house and this house. So as you can see here, the capability uh, is here 2, right? Uh, and if you take any other uh, approach like 2 and 9, 2 and uh, 3, the, the answer would always increase. In 2 and 9, the answer would be 9. In 2 and 3, the answer would be 3. So in only this case 1 and 2 the answer is 2 that is the capability is 2 and the min and that is the minimum of all capabilities thus we return 2 as our answer okay so uh, and also if you uh, see at the constraints then the then the length of this norms or total number of forms are uh, uh, 10 to the power 9 so if you are thinking of doing a dynamic programming dp by doing a recursion or something like that then that will definitely give you time limit exit data so yeah so one thing from this is uh, clear that robber has to make some efficient choices, the optimal choices of houses he can rob, right? Now, one thing what you can note here is, see, our answer, whether it may be 5 or 2, it will be from the nums array, right? Because what capability is itself uh, the cost of or the money in one of the houses, right? So our answer would be the minimum of capability that is the that is also uh, present in our array, this array, right? So the thing here is our whatever would be our output, it would be uh, one of the homes uh, or the nums of five. It would be one of the uh, element here, right? Whether you check two or here, right? So this is one one uh, good observation that you can make here. So let me show you um, uh, here that let's say if you have something like this nums array, and you have k equal to three, right? In this case. So let's say uh, Robert can uh, rob. So let me give them index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, way 1, that means this is one possible way. Robert can rob house and index 0, then 2 and 4. So that means he will rob uh, the maximum would be uh, 2, then 5, then 4, that means 7. So th this is the capability, right? The maximum of all the houses he has robbed. So capability is 7 one second way second way would be let's zero two and five so here the maximum of two five and eight is eight so eight is the capability another way is let's say robert can will drop uh, index one 
then index 3 and then index 5 so here index 1 is 3 then 9 and 8 so the capability here is 9 okay uh, then any other way is possible let's say yeah uh, wave 4 that means if we will uh, rob index 0 then index um, 3 then index 5 this is also one possible way so index 0 that is 2 index 3 that is 9 index 5 that is 8 so here also capability is 9 okay so whatever answer you will see you will find that the minimum of all this capability is 7 right and that is our answer right here you won't find any uh, other way uh, to uh, get a capability less than this 7 so yeah 7 is our answer and also you can see here the 7 is included itself in this numbers array right 7 is present here so uh, what i'm trying to tell is our output would be a part of nums of i that means the nums of array would be any element from the nums of i and uh, so what we can do is let's say uh, we have this array right here 2 3 5 9 7 8 so what you can do this is a, so let's say uh, you can uh, uh, take answer as 2 if you take answer as 2 then what you need to take you need to take a uh, k homes with with cost less than equal to 2 and non adjacent okay this two condition must fulfill if you if you want 2 as the output so all the other homes must have their uh, must all the other homes that uh, robert has robbed should have the cost less than equal to 2 and they must be not adjacent so is this possible no if this is not possible you do try to check for let's say 5 if this is possible no if you try to check for 7 is this possible yes it is possible let let's say um, this is you have selected means this is the maximum uh, uh, money or maximum house with the maximum money robert can rob so apart from that he need to uh, again take k minus 1 home sorry k minus 1 homes so remaining two homes he need to select that he can rob so he can rob this home or this home right because both these values are less than uh, this seven so here if you take seven as our answer uh, means if you choose seven then yeah, we can get seven as our answer right and this is our output if you take eight right here then also eight you will get but you need to find minimum so once you find minimum you won't uh, check for greater so what you are doing here is this something that you already know yeah think of this uh, you are selecting one answer you are trying to find if 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 this is a possible answer or not so what is this algorithm so this is nothing but simply binary search on answer in binary search on answer what you do you select one uh, mid as our answer and you check if this mid is possible or not and the same thing we are doing here you selected let's say five, seven as a mid and you are checking if uh, you if there are k minus one homes present with uh, money less than equal to seven and that are not adjacent if they are present yeah seven is our answer that mid is our answer uh, if you take five is our mid you won't get so uh, here uh, here this is a by so here what we will do we will do binary search and we will code one helper function and yeah and here this helper function will return true or false based on this to this, this condition right if this condition is satisfied then return true else false and apart from this we will simply do binary search so i hope you guys uh, understood that how we can build the intuition by simple one observation one observation was what was here is that our answer would be part of any one of this nums of i so we tried to took all this nums of i as our answer simple so yeah based on this uh, uh, intuition uh, and approach we will try to code it now so here uh, as we are doing binary search uh, so before that let me take n as the nums dot size now uh, we need to take one low and one high right uh, and uh, for low and high we need to select the number that is minimum from low and high it so the number that is maximum from this nums of array so what you can do one thing is uh, traverse nums of array and check uh, minimum and maximum right you can do one thing right this but what else you can do you can take any one something like this one and ten is to five as low and, and high right this is also a valid means these are the minimum and maximum value so you can take that as well so not 10 is to 5 10 to the power 9 because that is the maximum value a nums of i can have so i'm taking here one yet one ei plus one that is 10 is to power 10 to the power 9 and uh, and we will go a file low is less than equal to high uh, and i also let me uh, let us uh, let me take one answer variable int answer equal to int max so here also let me take int max for better understanding for so and here we will calculate one mid that would be low plus high minus low by two and we will check if uh, 
uh, raw let me make a name it as helper function where we would pass this nums array this came and made and if this returns true then what we will do we will simply store answer is equal to minimum of answer comma made and we will simply make high equals to made and in the else condition we will do low equal to made plus one okay and here in the end we will return answer now we will code for this bool helper function where we are taking this nums array and person nums then int k and int mid right and here let uh, now let me initialize when i equals to zero and n equals to nums dot size and i will write a while loop here okay while i is less than n what we will do uh, if uh, nums of i is less than equal to mid then we can uh, the robber can rob this house so in this case uh, we will do k minus minus and we will do i plus equal to 2 right and if whenever if k becomes uh, 0 then what we will do we will simply return true so uh, why we are doing i plus 2 because we won't uh, be able to rob the adjacent house okay and uh, in, in the else condition of this if, if we are not robbing then we will only do i plus plus right and here in the end we would simply return if is k equal equals to 0 or not if this is this condition is true or not this this is what we will return now let me try to run our code okay it would be semicolon here okay showing time limit exceeded let me check it once okay here it would be mid minus 1 high could be high would be mid minus 1 so yeah now the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this so yeah our code got accepted uh, so I hope you guys understood the approach, the intuition, how we build uh, the observation and from that observation we build our intuition and also the coding part. So now talking about the time and space complexity that uh, as you guys can see here that uh, we are doing a binary search then that would be take a log of n time complexity and inside these uh, log of n we are using one helper function. So uh, so for this will so outer loop this while loop will take log of n. And here we are traversing n elements so this will take n so our, our time complexity would be log of n into n and talking about the space complexity it would be big of one since we are not storing anything here so yeah that's all for the time and space complexity so i hope you guys understood the approach as well as the coding part so make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel also do check the community section where i am posting the job opportunities uh, so you can find all the necessary links over there and also apart from that i am posting the daily challenge uh, daily problem challenge of the lead code solution on this channel as well as the contest hard and medium level question solution on this channel so make sure you subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, if you have any feedback to me if you didn't understood any things here then do let me know in the comment section so make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you